Hello, good morning, and welcome to the breakfast show on TLC Nigeria TV. I am favor of the logo. Welcome. Being a newlywed is usually a blissful time for couples. In this stage, a lot of couples want to get to know each other better, build their relationship and understand each other better. You may have amazing family members talking about in-laws, but is this such a great idea to let your in-laws into your space? When I say into your space, I mean let your in-laws come live with you as a married couple. Today on The Breakfast Show, we will be discussing in-laws living with couples. And on set today, I have my amazing co-host, Zazie and Favor. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. My name is Faithy Maya, and we'll have an interesting conversation today. Okay, so the beautiful thing is, Zazie is married. Faith. And Favor is married. <laughs> Stop dragging us and on this I'm show. And I'm a single lady. So, so this, this I, want, I want to get every single detail. Now, before the show, started we're having a light but not so light conversation about uh living with in-laws but before we go to that do you have in-laws over at your house like do you no, have in-laws no living single with one you? no single one no single is that one. a choice you made or instruction you gave to them or it's a decision they made i just really believe that god placed me with the best in-laws mm. everybody knows their space Mm. and god knew what i can take so i, I don't know but everybody just has their space and we just know that okay Let's respect our boundaries now. Fantastic. Favor. I don't have any yet, but if anybody's willing to stay with me, why not? Okay, when Very you say anybody, are you talking about parents-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law? Yes. Cousins in law, yes. grandparents in yes. law. I'm a very accommodating person. So. Okay, so when they come to your space, you're willing to let them stay for as long as possible? Not for so long. I think <laughs> boundaries should be set. Mm -hmm. okay. When they come, this see, it can work. Mm. We can allow I can allow in laws stay, mm. but what we have to do is to set respectful boundaries so we should know what and what not to do. I I, I find it interesting that you say we should set. It's easy to say we should set respectful boundaries. Very easy because I have I grew up living with a lot of cousins. There's a lot of mine that had like has like twelve children. Mm. So at the time, a good number of those it twelve doesn't. were staying <laughs> they staying in our house. Now most of them were going to school, and from two different families. Okay, I have like two different sets of cousins. Let's say like three from one side and two from the other side. So we used to have like five extra bodies or in six extra yeah. bodies in the house every now and then because they much. all attended the same school in yeah. the same city. Mm. So they just had to stay in our place because they had an uncle who, of course, lived in the city and stuff like that. But we didn't have this issue with... We didn't have issues with them. But in university. But yeah, well, we had issues with them because they had issues with themselves. Now, you know that kind of situation where you just come back from school and you see two of your big cousins fighting and you're just like, <laughs> not again, <laughs> not again. And we also had the issue of, you know, coming back late, you know, during, you, as a home now, you know that, okay, at 7 p.m., at 8 yeah, p.m., everybody should yeah. be home and we lock our doors. But we have the ones who would want to come back at 9 p.m., 10 p.m., looking for who to close the door. So at the end of the day, when you say you set boundaries, most of these people are stubborn. Yeah. Now, for the, for the younger ones, they'll break your rules. you shout, shout, shout. You're, you're accommodating, Abby. Yeah. You will not know when you find yourself in a position where you say, leave my house. Then for the older ones, our parents and our parents-in-law, <laughs> by the time you want to set this respectful boundary, they'll just take it as an insult. They'll start quoting scripture for you. No, but you see... Children obey your parents in you the see, Lord. You see this thing called living with couples, yeah? Mm. For me, maybe um, in Lagos, Mm. And I have my brother-in-law. And I'm not just taking it from the side of my husband. I'm taking um, like from his, from his people now. Yeah. I'm also taking it from my side because he's also in-law to my relatives, right? Mm. So maybe like I have my brother coming over. I, I have his own brother or sister coming over. Maybe for an interview in town. Mm. And the person does not have fear to put up. Mm. That's quite understandable, yeah? Maybe you've got, even gotten the job. It's expected that, you know, you, we'll make it clear to you that oh, by as time they go on, you will have to definitely have your house. She gets some because if you don't, I, I believe that if you don't spell out things, people will not even know when to stop and they will not know when to continue. So you have your brother in law, your sister in law come around for a job interview and you're not comfortable with the person staying in your house, just tell them that, you know, hopefully you can stay here till you get your own place. So you know, so you know, you know, you know, know this, 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 this,
This conversation. What's the same way I've said? This conversation sounds simple. The conversation you're going to have with your in-law sounds simple because you may have an understanding in-law that understands communication. Yeah. And understands boundaries. If it's... Now, there are some very difficult persons that the moment you tell them they cannot stay for a long period, they have to stay for a week or two weeks or three weeks and get their own place before they get their own place, they're already calling the other family members to say, ah, this uh, Uncle Fate. Prince wife. I don't, I don't even think you Fate. have to stay telling you. them no. oh, stay for this we period say, or don't stay for me. this period. Allow them to I stay. I will tell you, you are staying for this period till you get your place. Mm. You see him, and you know why we get into problems a lot. Tell us. You know why people also, you know, tend to have a smiley face in the mm, front. Mm. Then when you go to the back, you are complaining. Exactly. You are waiting. It's because it you happens. cannot open your mouth to Sorosuki. Mm. You cannot talk. <laughs> so at, at the end of the day, you are in your house, but you are choking. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So if my brother is coming, he wants to stay, like maybe he gets a job. In fact, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because of the way we are raised, he knows that he will definitely move. So that time that he needs to stay and find it will be wicked of me. To tell my in-law to just maybe you come into town, you start looking for a house. Be wicked of me. Let's face the truth. Mm. There's a level of hospitality you should at least offer. But when the person has stayed, he or she has had his or her food for a year going, oh, but what is your number nine now? Exactly. Do you understand? My house is open for you. I'm not saying that you can't come visit. I'm not even saying you can't come spend the weekends. But I'm married to your brother. The, the, the reason why I'm, the reason why I'm I saying you should just privacy. let them stay because I will like, not just like let me, you I grew stay. up in a very big family. Okay. So you have cousins, nephew, nieces here and there. Mm. And the relationship went on fine. Mm. It's even strengthened that relationship. I'm more so than you, you, know, for you know, the crazy thing is I just members. asked Favor when the show yeah. started if she has any family members staying with her. Mm. She said no. No, I don't. She's so I said for now. For I now. Yes. Why? But if anybody is willing because to if, stay, if, if, you're, if you're that very hospitable family yeah. member, people should be struggling it's to come and stay It's because of funny. the mentality we have these days of oh, wanting to respect people's space. No, Maybe for, that's why funny they enough. It's not a bad mentality. Faith, yeah. faith and favor. Like don't come stay. Faith, faith and favor. You see, my house, and my house is so open yeah, that my sister-in-law's kids can call and say, I'm yeah, well, missing you. I'm like, you guys should come. They can spend three days, four days. The highest expense is a week. Do you you know, we, are, we are talking so about my people, house is that open. We are talking about people but not, spending three I'm, days. But I'm not saying I'm not saying come and spend one year, two years. I have like, seen. No, I have seen. I don't want. Your house. I have no. seen. I have seen people get married. Yes. They get married today, for instance. Today is what Wednesday. Let's assume it's on a Saturday. The wife and the husband move into their marital home on Thursday. Mm -hmm. On Friday, the Scotty wants to two, You're talking of a small The small girl is coming to help now. Two big boys, two big boys, brothers in law, move into the house. Of course. One so big girl. Like, you don't mind the husband, one you big mind girl. The family. Sister in law from the woman's side, moving. The, the girl moves see into the, the house. So we, mm -hmm. so we have newlyweds. I've seen it happen. Less than So we have new. You're even saying you'll be the next 24 day. hours. We have newlyweds. We have the, the husband's two big brothers, and we have the wife's mature sister in the house. At the end of the day, we have five grown-up people living in that house. It's not my portion. And now these three, these three family members, according to Favor, you do not marry just the person. You marry, you marry the, the entire family. family. Yes. Have come into this house without any income. They're not adding one naira she come. to the running of this house. And they are grown men, they will eat. They will not, they, they they will will not eat, take two wraps of a bar. They will eat the portion that will satisfy them. They will not take two wraps of a bar. She did not marry only them. You marry the food family. You I feed them. You feed them. Just you feed them. You will do what? Respect them. Because you're 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 you are your in-law. You can't do You respect them. You're not in-law. So as a woman, if you now say, Jude, you came back late yesterday. Please don't come back. Who do you mouth to talk? Who? Who born you? Who born you? You see, eh? You see, all these <laughs> things happen, and at the end of the day, you see women enduring at the very early stage of their marriage because this is brother and sister. They may not be comfortable time, with these things. Time that I'm supposed But you see to. them enduring because they have to put on that smiley face and act like the good, like, like and a good, good wife. hospitable wife. And they cannot. They will complain behind. But so, in front of you, they are asking so, you, "What so do the you time want that to I'm eat? supposed to put on like my transparent?" Nine gone for my husband and just move around my house. You find them tying rapper. I cannot. Two the time, that, the time that I'm supposed, supposed to have like up. my privacy, my space, like just be me in my own house. I can't have it. My pastor, then when I was in Warri, you know, he was preaching and he was talking about this in-laws thing. It was a family day service. Mm. Yeah. And he said his younger sister came to stay with them. 
She's not getting wind. Let's be like she, she she's not possessed or anything. They use the but, wind chest no, out. Hey. <laughs> so he was he was just noticing that you know money was not just stable coming in the house. Yeah. Like money wasn't coming in. Like he was getting money, but money was just going out. You know, and he said he just prayed about it. And the spirit that was with him, they just start to go back home. Yeah. Do you understand? This man is not poor. He's not average. He's okay. Like really okay. But he said that like the sister was a factor that was just. That just kept on taking money. Like she's sick today. She's mm. not this today. She's that today. That today. See, I'm not against you what coming. Start having no, children? I'm not taking the same thing. No, I don't want. That's I'm that's not. I'm not. That's my child. child. I'm not. That's this my child. Case. My responsibility. Yes, it's what oh, I my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law is not my responsibility. Exactly. My yeah. husband, yeah. my yeah. my siblings are, are not my husband's responsibility. They have They're parents. Just Do you understand? Family. They have parents. Don't come and burden me. Don't burden anybody. The family I'm married into, everybody respects themselves. Funny enough, it's a large family. So we had like my sister-in-law, her sister's children are living with her. Do you understand? Because like she she took the girl from small mm. because she had uh, she needed the girl to be with her where the rest was not comfortable. She had her own children. You get that was willingly, not imposing and saying, okay, as you they marry you, they carry my picking for nobody. Mm. No. My family is not my husband's responsibility per se. Mm. His responsibility is myself and, and the, the children. children. One. Now, the, the lady went back and things were okay. I'm not even against the fact that, you know, even when we have parents, yeah, maybe um, your husband's mother or father, they're not feeling well. Why not? This is the only time, like, we really have to take care of them. Mm -hmm. Not when they die, we're not going to build a big house for them. Sure. If it's in that case, do you understand? If it's in that case that my father-in-law has to come, or my mother-in-law has to come stay with me, I don't have a problem. I will never ask them to leave. The best I can do, maybe because of work and other things, I can even employ a nanny. For, the, for my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, my father, my mother, as the case may be, be with them till I return from work. And when you, you've done the best you can do, I'll take over from there. It's not that it's going to be convenient. Mm -hmm. But we also have to have the it's picture that, yes, well, you I also have to have the and picture. And it's not supposed to be yes. a lifelong you also, No, you also you have, have to have the picture. You also have money. No, I'm coming. Just, you also have things. to have the picture that, you know, at the end of the day, my, you don't even know how your life will turn at the end. We all mm. pray for good health mm. and send a long life and everything. But, you know, when you are fully able, you're a woman in your 60s or your 50s, and you just leave Mary Potaka to come to Benin to want to stay without going. I think I'm going to have a problem with that. I'm just being really honest. Okay, so <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to Zezi, but I want to find out from Favor right now. Yeah. Favor has been chanting when there is money, when you have a big house and a big space. And I think that, 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 concept, that concept is one-sided because not everybody has the kind of money you, you've been constantly talking about. Some people are still trying to find their place financially. Yeah. Now, I mentioned a newly wedded couple that probably you know just maybe from a one bedroom apartment the guy is now struggling to move to a two bedroom apartment with his wife and yeah. then he has his two brothers and his um wife's sister wanting to move in with them in that kind of situation how do you handle it are you trying to say this man should go and rent a bigger house because he's supposed to accommodate his family members because, because they are family. his responsibility no, no, in that, how in would that, you in handle that, that kind of situation i, th I think the in-laws should at least understand that these people, they are newly wed, they are trying to find their ground, they need their space, they need to get intimate and all of that. That is the that understanding is, we are yes, talking about, that, but you keep chanting, you keep saying that their family is not a problem. Okay, but, so but, who but, is yeah, supposed yeah, to, what who is, is who is, back, no, so I need to understand, oh, who, is supposed to, who is supposed to explain to these in-laws to understand, because I'm talking about unreasonable in-laws right now. Who is going to tell them to understand? No, this, because some people would come into your space and see that you don't even have a guest room but would insist that they want to stay in your house. No, in so cases, how would you how in, would you in make in them understand? Where maybe the person comes to look for a job in your city. We are not talking jobs. Looks for it. We are not talking jobs. We are talking. We are talking. We are talking, talking, we are talking you. living and with for this like person. A year, yes, for like a year, the person mm. is staying with you. Mm. Two years. Mm. Is already staying with you. What mm -hmm. are you going to do? You want I'll to tell you to go. No. no. I'll tell you to go. Because <laughs> one... is trying to save up no. money. No. <laughs> if, if you want to save up, assume I'm a brother, or assume you don't even have me, and yeah. think of another alternative. Because there are times, there are no jokes, yeah? There are mm. times that you, mm. it might sound funny that mm. I get them, I'm like, I better not cook. Sugar, how far? I beg, why such a banga if you they come? Mm. If I have my brother in law, if I have my sister in law, or even my brother, mm. I will not be confident to want to come out and say, Buy food for everybody when you did come. Do you understand? It's not as if okay, he cannot buy it, but be thoughtful. Do you understand? I will not want to cook. Like there are days that I just want to eat out. Mm -hmm. There, days I, want to, there are days that I just want to eat bread and tea. Mm -hmm. like I think that's night. when it happens when get? people try to be too perfect. 
when you try no, to no no yes okay no, no because just, because just imagine your in-laws just imagine want to cook, just imagine my brother in law salt in the food no for the food to be just imagine my brother in law do you know how much do you know how much food costs outside if you're when not you want to buy food then do you understand just imagine Remember, my brother do you know how in much law. it costs to buy food? And if maybe hmm. you your, you and your husband knew that, okay, for instance, you're going to spend 2,000 naira for lunch yeah. and you have three extra mouths in the house. They can cook. Do you know how much that costs? No, okay, no, 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 no. Do you know how much that costs? So, 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 so because, because, because I want to, because I, I don't want to enter my work. kitchen, I don't want my kitchen to be messed up and I want to buy food and eat. I will now start buying for three extra months. Well, that are not even say, contributing. You say, see, they you are not even contributing a dime. A hand that feeds them. They are not contributing a dime. Uh, she just told us a story of a man. It, 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 it told us a story of way. a man that has actually been going down financially because of the expenses on a family member that was living with him. Wisdom, they say, is profitable to direct. See, I'm of the opinion that you do not have to despise please yourself to please anybody. See, but we can't have family or anything. Because this... Oh, thank you. Human beings. We have ungrateful human beings. Human beings. We have ungrateful human beings. So, I just feel... I just feel... If you're going to stand on your first point, saying when there is money, it shouldn't be a problem. I suggest you stand on that point. Don't try to make people who are struggling financially and trying to plan their finances accommodate people and they know that it's telling on them. They are working extra hours to feed people who are not bringing a dime. Adults who are supposed to go out there and work. I'm working extra hours to feed you. Knowing that tomorrow, even if I have my children tomorrow, what is the guarantee? It's not like we have a written agreement. Should I, if I need cannot, money, I, see, if I need money tomorrow, I can, without doing I can mention the number of people that you I have been nice to. People I have helped. They don't even reason you. At all, you don't mean that you man being at all. So, so I would, I would use my experience. I would use my experience to help other people out there. You Be see, vocal about what when you we were want. growing it's up, your eh? space. when we were growing up, yeah, my mom had a lot of family members stay with her. And one day, I've, I've grown up now. One day, she said, she said, I regret my action. I'm like, why? She said, all that money when they spend, but don't use and buy now and do something oh. that time. That's what she said. Mm. But today because they are, she knows, be appreciative. They I don't understand. They all have mention and then they will go and put her in Guinness Book of Records and say thank you, man. No, not at all. Let's let's have sense. Do you understand? Let's let's just call the spade the spade and call the shovel the shovel. To take care of herself. Now she has a house. She would have had a house or two or more for herself rather than just paying people school fees. How many have bought a car now? How many have bought a car? How many have built a house? How many have bought a house? So for me, I still take my stand, like, you know, I just make it really known. And I tell my husband, if it's your brother, I'll tell your brother, you know, you get time frame. If it's my own brother, I'll tell my own person, you get time frame. Because I cannot displease myself. I cannot displease my home. It displays my privacy. I like privacy scatter. Like, I like to move around in my house without clothes. Don't come and, don't come and disturb please, me. Please, don't, don't do it. Don't disturb we me. We are currently live on Facebook, <sighs> and we have a comment. This one is from Wana, and she's saying, I'm definitely enjoying this conversation, Mrs. Favor. You call it just food, forgetting that as a new couple, you and your partner are just starting off. It's a very young stage of your marriage where you're trying to build up a structure that will work for your home in the long run. And believe it or not, those relatives will be obstructing a lot for you. Speaking up True. about how long you're willing to accommodate your family and in-laws is the best approach, especially when they're not reasonable enough to know that they're in your space. Personally, I want to start my family budget and planning early enough with only my husband while we save and plan for our future kids. I cannot be enduring instead of flexing my fresh marriage. I miss you. <laughs> God bless you, Wanda. Thank you, Wanda, for that comment. I think, I think that has explained it all. But Favor seems to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but the only issue I have is, Favor has not accommodated any family member. So she's not speaking from a perspective do a where she of has, two years she has for done us. it and she's coming here to tell me, I did it, you two can do it. Mm. No family what member is currently in your home. I will not. And you said for it. now, and I'm not sure, the way I'm even looking at you, I'm not, you look like somebody that will bounce. <laughs> I will not. That will bounce a visitor See, from the door. My house is open to you. You can come visit. You want to stay two, three days, fine by me. Even stay a week. I'm not, I don't have an issue. Mm. Generally, my house is that open for you. But say you will not pack your box, your Ghana must go, your equity, everything. I say, okay. Now, yeah, I want this day. Baba, <laughs> it's one more. All right, ladies. Thank you so much. We really had fun on this set today. So, on a quick, a quick one. 
do whatever works for you. I think it boils down to communication. Let the couple communicate on what they want. And as family members, try to give them space. Understand that these people are newlyweds and they need all the space that they can get. They need to get intimate and every other. So please, 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 let's be kind to one another. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, don't forget to follow us on all our social media handles. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, TSN Nigeria, the TSN Nigeria TV. I'm favor of Yenloba. Thank you. Stay connected to TSL Nigeria and get updates on the go all day, every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel on TSL Nigeria Space TV and join our online family.